Welcome to another episode of Let's Build in Creative Minecraft. We are still working on the castle. Let's jump right into the time lapse of what I've done for today. I've tried a little bit of a new approach to a lot of this stuff, stuff that I, I've never really built a castle like this in creative. So, and, and, and with um, world edit and, and all this stuff. So I have kind of like uh, new options on how I want to go about working on things. So the way that I've chosen to go about most of this project so far is I'll build a tower, another tower, and then I kind of fill in between the towers. So I kind of recognize these as my main structures and everything that goes between it just kind of needs to fit to it. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of the in-between stuff yet. Uh, obviously, I've done this little area, which I don't even... Uh, I like the idea of it. You know, I think I'm going to like it in the end. The thing that I don't really care about this right now is that it's like our only little point of detail like unnecessary detail we'll say so like there's the main structures and there's side detail this is kind of side detail and uh, and for some reason i went ahead and did it um is so it feels almost out of place once we have the rest of everything it'll just be one of a lot of instances kind of like this so it won't stick out so much then but i've got to you know work on this wall here um, this is just a little storage, by the way. Um, just a little bit of clutter. Have a door here going into the tower. Thing that I want to work on camera, though, today is this. It's the main entrance. Um, so here's my idea. Obviously, we're going to have a three step defense here. So there's. This gate, obviously, we go up here, and then there's the drawbridge, and then we come up here, and there's another gatehouse, sort of. This is kind of the main entrance to the castle. I want there to be a a pretty open area right here. A lot of this this mountain right here is probably probably gonna just go ahead and delete it to be honest because we're not building around the terrain we're just kind of building on top of the hill so i could probably just go ahead and delete this entire thing but i want there to be a somewhat open area here where common people could go uh shopping perhaps uh you know some sort of like smiths in there people that work for the castle um right around there i was seeing that the left side can be the more official part of the castle where more important people are the right side can be more common use however you want to say it sorry about that i think that tabbing out uh to to pull up my references messed up my recording but as as i was saying um i i've been really been using a lot of references while building this because this is kind of new for me, building a castle of this scale. And I don't want to just use my same old tricks I've always used. I want to find new ones, whether it's on my own or with the help of references. And a lot of, I guarantee you, your favorite builders, they, they build something big and awesome and they and they kind of play it off like, like this is what I built. No, I, I'm willing to bet that a lot of times 
that are using references to get inspiration, whether it's real world castles uh, or or other people's builds, or at least a lot of the time. Maybe I'm sure there's lots of builders who can just build something like this without ever looking at any references, but I feel like I need to use references and I feel like it helps me. So you might even see something here that like looks similar to something you've seen before. Who knows? But I, I did use references for some of these and I've got some pulled up here just to get an idea of how other people do a similar thing. So this tower is also going to be replicated over here. I'm, I'm kind of just flying around it, making sure that there's not more that can be done. Um, up here, there's definitely more that can be done. Um, I have sort of a theme going on this tower where I can use iron bars for windows. And then here I didn't use any bars or window panes. I'm trying to decide what I should do up here. Maybe not do any windows at all, but for the protection, do something like that. I think that looks pretty good. We can leave this wide open. Maybe this can be just um, maybe a bell sort of... Uh, house you know for a uh, warning um it is like in the center of everything uh when when there's gonna be castle there and castle there so it could be a good spot for something like that the two towers could be a little bit different in that regard but this is mostly finished there's some things like this could maybe end up being stairs and I do like that, so I'm going to swap some of these out for cobble. And then I'm just going to go all the way around on that. Oops, not what I meant to do at all. There we go. And I'm pretty much going to copy and paste it. And I learned my lesson last time. I'm going to copy and paste it and then randomize my block so that, uh, so that all of my randomizations aren't in the same pattern. So we're just going to do something like that. And that, uh, let's do, okay. I don't want those to line up too perfectly with the windows. It'll almost look like it's on purpose. Uh, so there's not a whole lot more that I want to do. I kind of want a flag right here. I might just copy and paste it from over here, then mix it up a little bit so it doesn't look perfectly the same. But I don't think I'm going to have that on both towers. Uh, or I could, I don't know. But let's go ahead and just grab right well let's grab from here and we're gonna go on up so we need to be on oh actually that's wrong because the roof extends out here so we're gonna grab from here should get everything oh and i just ruined it grab right there and then we're going to put another one. It's going to have to be here. So just pull this up so we get the entirety of our roof. We don't need the flag part, so I'm not going to grab that. I'm going to delete this so it doesn't copy over. Get our position, and I'm going to stand uh, right here because it's going to paste relative to our position. Um, Copy. We're going to go over to that corner on this side. Paste. And then make sure that they're even. So they look even. It did delete a little bit of stone there just because of I copied some air, but that's okay. And then what we're going to do is... Uh, I, I don't have to reset these because they, they were already set just fine. But I'm going to go replace stone with, what have we been doing? 65% um, stone, well, stone bricks. Uh, that's block ID 98. Uh, 20, 5% uh stone and that leaves uh 10 percent cobblestone perfect and then we're gonna do the exact same thing over here 
just like this. So I am getting a little bit more efficient with my world edit. And we're going to uh, just repeat that. And that should be it. Let's remove our our blocks and then take a step back and see if we like everything, see if there's anything that we don't like. The thing about these castles that I'm learning is um, it's okay to have a lot of of boring stuff. Uh, well, so for instance, if I were building just this tower, there's not a whole lot going on around here. It's very square. It's, you know, this wall, for example, is flat just flat but when it's all a castle all together you can get away with that kind of stuff because it's more so the whole of it all the shapes together than it is the little shapes in the little uh structures um but i i like it i think everything here looks good one thing that i do want to change is this does not need to have a window because it's on the inside. So let's just do one of these. Perfect. And we might need one over here. We don't need this column, that's for sure. Uh, whatever comes on this side is probably going to be determined by... I think right here there's going to be some sort of a, uh, um, you know, court, uh, outdoor court deal. Uh, but these towers should be good. Make sure I got the top here correctly. Yeah, that looks fine. I think I will grab this flag from over here. So we're going to need everything from there to there. And I'm going to... Stand on top of this pillar. Copy. Gonna go up. Is that one? Okay, so we are gonna have to change this here real quick. Uh, 2B3 high in this section. Oops. Right there. And we're gonna go paste. And I'm just going to uh, pick some blocks here and kind of just swap them around like like this um some of these can even ooh this one can whip back uh so it's like it, it's not flowing perfectly the same right um just do that and now they're different. They don't look the same. And it looks pretty good, I think. Other than that, the next thing that I want to do is this section right here. So let's fill this up with stone. Oh, there we go. By the way, I got a new webcam in the mail. Um, probably going to do a live stream very soon, maybe even before this video goes up. So that's just something to think about. This, I want to make sure that this is all stone so that when we randomize it, it's included into that. And I'm going to keep the design fairly similar to this, except on a larger scale. So something that I want to do is copy. Okay, let's... Go from here to, okay, if our, this is going to step up a little bit. Our floor is probably going to be around here. For now, let's just go there, replace air stone, maybe even not that much. Uh, cut. And I'm going to grab this. I'm going to copy it. And I'm also going to move it one. I believe that's north. No. Uh, so it's east. Move one east. 
Uh, and then I'm going to stand back here. Actually, let's copy it from, oh, that's gonna change our coordinates. Uh, so it needs to be here. We're going to copy it from, copy, and then we're gonna move over here, paste, and then that makes up the the rough idea for our gate. So this is something that I also, I, I very much like to get in very, very vague blocks in before I start building. So, you know, this, very simple. This tower started out pretty much a square of of stone, and I just kind of been working from there. This can probably get changed. And now another thing is I'm going to work on just this one probably, and then I can paste it over here, I think. Uh, you need to be like that. And you need to... We're not missing those little things. Nah. Um, and then I want more of an arch like this. Oops, I want, I want that. Gonna make this wider, I think. Cut. Cut. Eh. Okay, what if we, how wide do I want to make this? Okay, so this is like the outside. Um, so there's gonna be like two layers to this to give it some depth. Uh, I'll show you what I mean here in a second. So I get something sort of like... Doesn't feel right. What if we did this? Is that right? That feels better. And now what I'm gonna do is... Okay, let's go from... Here to here, we're going to fill with stone. Uh, place air stone. And then we're going to cut out pretty much a square here. Uh, cut knock this back a little bit more kind of like that so we've got some depth to our project now you know what this i kind of want to be there okay yeah i like that more and then this is pretty much going to get mirrored but Let's go ahead and, do I want to make a floor here? Yeah, let's just go ahead and make the floor just so that we know what we're doing. Um, I believe if I go over here, do up, is it up one? Up, up one, there we go. Uh, and then we can set this to all stone. Replace air stone. Knock this glass out. Get rid of that. So now we have a feeling of where exactly we're looking at. And we can make this this uh, platform here all decorative and look really nice. So that when you're here, it'll look pretty cool. We get a really neat, a really neat view coming up the side of this mountain that I'm pretty happy with. But now we're gonna go up here and and I'm going to, what am I gonna do? I'm going to, so we can have an indoor section where there are windows. So let's say that there's windows every, let's make sure it's centered, that should work. Every like that. Um, is it better down or up? Okay, we gotta have these 
go this way. So now we're just blocking in more of our structural ideas. And I'm gonna kind of frame these so that they look a little bit more decorative. Um, let's see. I'm gonna work on this a little bit more than get back to you. Well, so far I like it. It's a little bit too like Harry Potter-ish for me at the moment. Um with with the um double uh peak roofs. Uh eh, I might change one of them, kind of like how that one doesn't have a roof, or maybe I'll make them flatter. Or maybe when everything's all said and done it'll blend in more. Cause right now, uh this is just the interest and it's pretty commanding of your attention compared to the rest so well we'll uh kind of wait and see the roof is really easy to change i mean if i decide at the end that i don't like it i don't have to change anything else i just have to delete it and put something else there so that'll be easy but let's take a look at what i've done so um i i i noticed that we don't actually have enough room up here to put a fence that could retract because there's there's a room in here and obviously people need to walk through there so i put it in the ground so it would raise instead um i wish i knew how to change the state of the block so that the fences weren't attached to the walls next to them or uh i believe furnaces used to some blocks used to not connect other than stairs um, I think they changed that, so I, they kind of got to connect to the walls, I think, unless I'm forgetting about a block. Other than that, though, uh, we got some some indoor space here. We have our space up here with our retractable uh, defenses. I like to put these on my castles. You know, the idea behind is, them is that you could look out through them, or if you want additional cover, you put them up. So that's a cool little detail I like to do. Other than that, oops, we have uh, the inside of here, which, you know, pretty simple. Maybe maybe if we get around doing interiors for this place, uh, I'll put some sort of guard, you know, tables, um, some sort of place for them to relax instead of just having to stand in here. But other than that, it's mostly just a way to get from one side of the tower to the other. Other than that, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it came out. You know, one thing that I really want to do next is the hamlet. I'd like a town down here that the castle is overlooking. I'd really like to do one of those next. Um, maybe we'll start on that. Maybe we'll keep continuing with the castle. I'm not entirely sure. But anyways, that's pretty much it for this episode. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them below in a comment. I'll take them into consideration. A lot of you that left uh, suggestions, I changed some of your things uh, without saying. See if you can notice uh, any of the stuff that I've changed. Um, but thank you for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye.